Welcome back to Gary Greenspeace World at War. I'm Magican, and last time we had Italy in the game here. And if we go and get Yugoslavia, then Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria would join the war. So that will happen if we get this pro allied Yugoslavia, and that would be good to get pro allied because that's not good. They made a coup, a coup and the same with the um, with Greece but that's a little different story because that's Italy attacked from uh, Albania here but let's just get these subs in the working here there was one there and let's just move that down there and then take let's just get this one on this one it doesn't matter really whoa that's a good one that was actually a good one of course, that was the normal, but it didn't get a star, so that's a little bit sad. Another one here. Sometimes you will see that the, um, when you get a transport, then the United States will start to say they will get closer to joining the war, like here. They will go up to 19, 20, 21. That will happen sometimes if uh, the subs going down here and attack. It hasn't happened yet, I think, but it's getting closer and closer the further into the war we're getting so uh, let's see here we also need another unit over here and we could put a tank in there just one and these three should go over there right not now let's see there's one here uh, let's just move that up there do we have any standard unit I would like to have some of these units here like this one to move into there um, maybe not maybe just that way and then this one could be a real trooper Do we have one more? Okay, we got one more. Let's move that in here. And this one should move up there. That's not that bad. And then we could move one unit down here. And then get no we can wait a little bit with that but there's no troops here now so maybe we should bring in that but this is good because these two will protect south France not the total south France but Maybe just the east ones here. Um, and here, that will be okay right now. But next time, maybe we should do something else here. Maybe we just say and move that up there instead. And then these guys. Should be able to move this way here maybe even over there that's good enough and that's two there that's too many I could put one down here then they won't have that issue I could also put one down here um, but these are really needed these artillery but I have not researched them that much so that's also quite important but they will be a help against every kind of attack on the land and also when they're tra going through the, the straight here but the planes here will also be a really huge help for that that's nothing they can really do here there is I could attack these guys but again as last time you saw that was not a good idea, but let's just show that again. 
it's just so close probability of success the three so let's just keep them here as defense and then you don't have to look at the that's just one but if you move one extra out I can just show you here this is still 58 yeah okay it's not that expensive but it will cost if they move uh, a little longer then it will cost extra support because of the fuel stuff like that. look at that they brought in a tank down here that's not good they will be able to attack with all these units next time and that will be like I will lose probably all three here we will use them and they will attack with that maybe they will lose some of them but maybe you should do something else they took that tank from that area so why not just Go in there. And why not just try to attack with these tanks here? That looks fine. Look at that. Success rate. Western Allied Infantry was... Ooh, look at that. That was a really good attack. We got, got them here. And we had the Suez Canal. I brought in. And that was a really good thing. Now they will not be able to cross this channel. That is amazing and uh, not really but that will happen because they took the tank down here and um, mostly they will attack that but also because they have focused on something else you can always do that in this game you can focus on something else and uh, not focus on these troops here but focusing on this or having a crazy fleet here and that's a lot of things you can do but that was quite good we also brought in infantry i could bring it back now because this is good enough really um we do not need any more now we didn't lose anything here and they cannot put it that many troops but again it would be good to be able to go in here but let's see here. Maybe I should just bring that back. We will still have like four units here. Able to, to get that. And I think bringing them back will not be that bad here. I could also just bring it up here. Back to protect Italy. That won't be that bad. And then another attack here. Let's just bring in all of them. What does it say here? That says a good thing. Yes. Let's see here. It's now... Soviet world is 15 and US is 20. They got two each. So now Soviet will scale up. But look at this, Bulgaria is now axe, Romania is now axe, Hungary is now axe. Colombia is now allied learning, they don't like us to attack a neutral country. So Colombia is just saying, oh, now we're starting to get to allies, yeah. Infantry is unable to retreat, look at this, they lost three militia and one standard guy there. That's really good. Did we get any stars? One star for one infantry here? That was okay. We just didn't bring in this trooper here. Let's bring that up there. This tank should just wait there. And there's two planes here. I could bring one up here. They will start to uh, build these planes. Oh. These guys are not in the right place right now. Let's just take this this way. Can we bring them in here? Yeah. But not now. Whoa! That's already too many. That needs to be three in here. So I probably need to bring one back. That's a little irritating because we need to have as much of these tanks transport as possible. 
Um, and when we have the movement now, it's really needed, so... But again, we cannot just bring in units, we need to bring them in. I could take one here, but then they will probably attack that area. I do not like that. I have to protect these islands. It's not like... Uh, in World War II, uh, they, they just took each area at a time, but if you open it up, they're going to get it. And then they're just bringing a lot of troops here, and then you have to fight for this area. Probably also go after the ships here, uh, but we just have to wait to see what's going on and how we can do this. Let's just keep this plane here. And now we got a, a good fighter here also. We could also bring in this into the war, but I rather want them here when these planes are starting to be built. They only got one now and one up here. Of course, we got a lot of them here in France. They didn't retreat, but that will happen. Let's just have a look at the situation. I would rather want to move some of these units. 44 left in the supplies, but I would rather want to have like, when you can move these units, you should not move the one of these or anti-aircraft or artillery. You need to artillery to shoot it here so they won't just come in with units. Uh, let's see, can we attack something else? That's a sub there. Uh, maybe I could take this, but look at the, look at this, 44. 43, that's actually good enough. Didn't get it. And now 41. And for look at that, that cost a lot to do this. So we could actually say... No, we have to bring them home. That was a little bit stupid. I would have liked to have some of these bombers over here to attack this transport route. That would actually be okay, but I'm not sure how many fields they can reach. One, two, three, then will be one, two, that will help. Let's see if we can attack that one. No, we can't. So that cost too much and we didn't ever get any experience by that but that is of course submarines this line here and of course we only got one so that is the issue here we do not have that chance here and also we did not have that research as we had done with Japan so that will happen so that was just waste of energy there do we have any industry nope all industry has been taken, but again, you can always look at this sign here and find out that's a lot of raw material, but we do not have issues right now with raw materials, so we should not go after that. Look at this, 44 and 16, they have 49 and 20, so it's double. So right now we just wait a little bit. I can't remember when I said that last time. I can't remember when this get to two instead of one, but we will see that. It will be shown. And let's see here. We do have these strategic bombers. I'll wait with that one. Actually, also wait with this one. It's better to just move them over. So you can move them with the rail. And look at that. That's four transport. Can't use them here right now. Is there any transport here? No. Nothing to do. Nothing to work with. But we can still do this. maybe even this to protect the line here and they have supplies all over now but still 
this line has been cut a little bit, but they will still continue to get that growing. And of course, that is because of all these ships here, 51. Okay, I don't think we can do anything more here. Is this axe learning? No, neutral, total neutral. Norway is allied learning, and that's giving to Russia here. Sweden is axe learning because of those supplies, and these are pro axe. And these are now pro axe, plus they are actually axe now, neutral axe, axe, axe. So we won't get any supplies of them anymore, but they will join the war. So you will see that next turn. Um, this is what we got. Let's just end this phase. We still get from Romania right now. Southern France, Bulgaria 1 is nothing really. Uh, Hungary is 6, but Romania is actually 14. That's actually not bad, probably because of the oil in Protesty. And now it's time for research. And again. Bring in the research. And it's quite good that this is only 8 still. So, uh, that's not bad. And I would like these guys to be a little bit better here. Um, should also be against air, but they cost too much to use that. And these guys need to be much better also. We need to have them really high up. Not against tanks, but against planes. And now the production is getting higher, but we also need more resources to get to the war in Russia. And there we go. And should also have these sub things working here, else we will have issues later on. I'm not going for that now. That will cost too much and too too long time to get that working. And I will not go for these paratroopers either. They have good enough. They cost too much just for one paratrooper or two paratroopers. Um, again, ships not bad, but let's keep to this. And production for Jimmy. There we go. That's equal now. And all of these units, everything looks fine. Let's see what we got. We got 12 left. We also need to produce... Let's see here. 53. That is okay for next time, because we're not going to use 53 for next time. So we can go all out in production. Nearly all out in production. Let's just... Make... Austria, maybe a tank, will always be good with an extra tank. Northern Italy, Southern Italy. Industry, not many people will produce industry in Italy, but I think that will be a good idea just to get a little bit it's in north here. Uh, it will cost a lot of turns, but Italy cannot produce that much instead of supplies and ships. The rest is going to have miners on it, so um, bombers, planes, everything here, uh, except militia and all these ships here. Maybe subs even have miners on it, but I don't think so. Let's see, Czechoslovakia is making man there. Let's just put in another fighter also. And we cannot do anything there. We cannot do anything here. And uh, Northern Italy, that is everything. It's just supplies, right? So, just make supply for the rest. And let's see here. Next time, one ship will be ready. And we'll have these two ready. And this will take a little bit of time. But they will come. And we'll need more artillery. And we'll need more men but artillery is, is going to be really good also uh, more fighters 
but that's that's it right now I have not used anything in these guys here 18 they have not been round up any of these that's quite good no round up but let's just do that one and you can see look at that 23 now they're just going for 13 in Germany look at that nine in now in Japan, five in China and seven in the States. So th this is the roundup, this guy here. They only got nine, but still, that's not good. But let's just end this face and look here. Whoa, got this to seven in fighter and in movement too. That's really important. So they got these, that's 20, 30 extra. And then the this, this transport and one man in Czechoslovakia. Yeah, that's good. And let's see here. Right now, I can attack this Chongqing and we can go in and get it. So uh, that is what I really want to do. Let's just move all six strong men in here. And these two. And then. This is just minimum what we can move here. Look at that. That's totally minimum. We can't do anything else here. And this is not good enough. We have to take more down. And we have to have this one in too. This should be do it. And it did. They lost all six of their um, standard troops of the militia. There was none in, and then one uh, anti-aircraft, and we was had damaged these five units. Now it's 21. That's three more, I think. China's troops are forced to retreat after the fall of Chongqing. Chongqing's people flee as enemy planes fly overhead, and devastation covers the ruined capital. The ongoing Japanese assault is without mercy. The army of the rising sun wiping out all in its path. Masses of troops swarm the city and raise most buildings to their foundations. After the smoke clears, we ask, who or where will Japan's hungry gaze turn to next? One thing that's good right now is they do not have any industry at all anymore. These last areas has no industries. They cannot build anything. They cannot repair anything. This can just go bad for them. They will not even be able to attack if they do not have any supplies in store. So that is, of course, a really, really, really good idea to do this if you have the possibility. The problem is you have really vexed the United States here. And there's so many things that can go wrong now. So uh, that's good reminder well, let's see here I should get raw material to work but where first these two and not this up here that will not be a good idea not now one two three four I think we lost two of these um, guys that was quite good at this let's just start to um, No, that's frozen. Let's start to move some troops to some of these places here. That will be needed later on also. So they got a lot of forces. Not a lot, but got some forces and they will not be able to help. But if they get an area, they will also get militia again. So, uh, but now we got extra raw materials not here because too hard to get and we also need to have the units repaired let's see here we can move them out I'm not sure how far we can move them no we can actually move them over there you can also do this and Probably also this. This was quite good to have that. To have an extra four now.
and that's not bad to move all three there that's also good it will not cost that much it will cost a lot more to move the last part like like look at that seven so if you just move some of the fields then it's okay we need this bomber to move over here to have a chance for that and we also need this fighter uh, the fighter mostly needs to be protecting these islands down here and then we need a transport normally I used many transports for this there's already uh, there oh, and anti aircraft and there's one here also to stop all this but it's good to make this work Japan has nine left and remember that they have to have troops enough to get supplies to these great let's just end this and they get one and now look at that that's two left so it costs seven for all these lands to have that in area okay these will be fixed let's just do this so they will be fixed too there's only seven left but now we get two extra late next turn um, let's do this We need the supplies, we need to have everything supply, we can't just make any more research, any more things here, not now, not when we need the supplies. That is 35 and they get these back. Japan, security rounds up Chinese spy ring, okay that's the only one. No research get. The peasants of the Russian steppes have taken to arms in a tremendous push by Stalin to put his country on a war footing. Spurred on by the looming threat of the Axis powers to their west, the Soviets have begun a campaign of rearmament that has the Western leaders watching with both fear and awe. Russian factories are churning out tanks, guns and planes to equip Stalin's new and seemingly unstoppable war machine. Now this is happening because they are over those line of two let's just lock that okay the planes is now been better round out allied Chinese and again in infantry evasion technology from Germany that's really irritating now China rounds up Soviet spy ring okay and 22 now get these Okay, we can't see that because we need to get these units in. There we go. France has now factory production multiplier of two. So that's good. Get extra. And now, as you can see, it's winter. And we have Romania in an 80 point. That's really good. We could probably... Can we give them... No, they're not together. They're not connected. But that will not be a bad idea to give them 10 points or something. At least because... But let's look at, look at this, now it's 27 uh, against 41, so it's getting closer, closer now, if, or 50 against uh, versus 36, so still need more here, but the production of industry will rise and these will not rise, but again, that will be, let's see here, three industry there, no one there and one industry that's four industry in extra because it was four and then plus four more so that's what's trick of this but let's take that next time i said one turn at a time uh, i hope you enjoyed this and i tell you this will be much bigger growing 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 a lot uh the allies is just holding a little bit back i can see that will change 
uh, they are attacking if they think they will have an advantage there. They will not just attack without any justification or any reason to win the battle. So that's why it's important to keep all the bases right. But thank you for watching and see you next time.